Oh, welcome. A pleasure to see you again. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today?
Okay, I got 12 and we are going to start now. Let me call it by name, Adriana. Adriana del Carmen. It's not here. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. I don't see Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. No, here yet. Well, I guess I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to give at least uh, three more minutes in order to wait for the rest. I was doing that, but I saw only just a few, and I got the oh. same. I'm going to continue doing. Okay. Yeah, I got 12, only 12. I'm going to continue them. Uh, Escobar? It's not here. Selena? I don't see it here too. Diana? Present. Okay. Eric Orlando? Present. Okay, thank you. Francis Elizabeth? It's not here. Jose Jonathan Vigil? Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. 
María Elena. Nadie. Mario Ernesto. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marlene Lari. Presente, che. Ok. Misael. Present teacher. Is there? Okay, thank you, sir. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Jenny Sulaima. It's not here, Jenny. Yesenia Lisette Asensio. Present teacher. Okay, Jesse is there, Jesse is there. Okay, we are going to start now. I got only 10. Anna Lillian. Anna Lillian is there. Anna Lillian is here too. Okay, somebody else. Let me see. I don't know, maybe some of you are having problem with your connection because I got 12 and suddenly I right now I got 11. I got 10. I don't know what is happening there. Something is happening. Okay, let us start again. Okay, today we are going to talk about design a basic checklist to hire a CPL provider. And this is class number 14, remember we missed one in the Mother's Day. That is the reason why we got uh, the number 14 for today. And at the end of the class yesterday, uh, we were talking about a word that you were working in pairs, I guess, I remember. But let us start making a review. And that way we are going to relate the, the knowledge. What do you remember about yesterday? No ideas?
We study a lot of concepts related with the CPL. Okay, you look a, a little shy today. I don't know why. No sé por qué eh, algunos están perdiendo la conexión. Teníamos, llegamos a, a 12 y ahorita vamos a 9. ¿Hay algún problema en el área donde viven? ¿O no me oyen? Um, in my case, teacher over here is very windy. Oh, okay. Maybe something is happening in different areas because uh, I've been seeing that uh, some of you are connecting, disconnecting, and I don't know what is happening. Maybe it's because the weather, it is raining or something like that. I don't know. Well, well, I'm going to continue working. Uh, I, I, I was asking you uh, in order that you remember what we studied yesterday. I don't know if you remember something. Remember that I told you to get a notebook and try to write down all that you consider that you are going to forget. So try to look your notes and just tell me, okay, yesterday we started talking about this and so on, okay? What can you tell me about the previous class? Some ideas. Mario, Misael, Yesenia. Um, I remember we uh, we create examples using the, the phrases or, or sentences with uncertain. Okay. Teacher, yesterday I was in class. Excuse me, sir? Yesterday I was missing the class. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's true, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, let us start with this question. Does your company use basic warehouse function like receiving, stocking, packing, or shipping? And the second question is why it is important to do a sort of need assessment before hiring a CPL service provider? What can you tell me about these two questions?
Just to share my company, use a basic warehouse function. Okay. Like receiving, stocking, packaging, or shipping? Which one? Receiving and shipping. Okay. In our case, teacher, we, uh, yes, we have like, uh, like, a, like in a small room where we place at the beginning of the year, all of the books for the students. Ah, I got it. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else, somebody else. Come on, I need that you uh, give me your point of view. Okay, what, what about the second question? Why it is important to do a trial need assessment before hiring a CPL service provider? Any idea related with that question? Teacher, in my case, no, because my company is seller. Okay, uh, let me do this. Let me see, I got uh, eight people. Okay, let me see how many people do I have here. Maria Elena tiene dos dispositivos. O tiene solo uno, Maria Elena. Do you have only one or two? In this moment, only one teacher. Only one, okay. In only. A connect. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you are going to work in, in, in pairs or Maybe three one. Let me see if I got another one connected. Ah, oh, but it's a listener. Okay, you are going to discuss this question and then you are going to give me your opinion about, try to look for some ideas in order that you can answer this question. If you don't have the question, just look it up your material, you have it there. I need that you have a clear 
concept related with these questions. Let me see if I got more people here. Uh, no, Vaselina is a uh, listener. Let me see if I got somebody out here. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a listener. So. Well, I guess I'm going to move Maria to room number four. Let me see, number four is going to be this one. Okay, here we go. You are going to uh, get information related with the question because I need that you give me your point of view. Don't worry about uh, take your time in order to answer these questions. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat>
recorded. Okay, well, can you tell me now, after you discuss the question, who wants to answer the question number one? Hello? Hola, hola, hola. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, sir. we can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Let us talk about the first question now. Let me see, uh, Maria Concepcion. Teacher, no terminamos. Really? Sí. Mm, what, 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 thank you. Oh, let me, let me see. What about you, Elena? Maria Elena? I am in group with uh, Jay <laughs> and don't finish. You didn't finish too? Didn't finish. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes more, okay? Thank you. Teacher, que, bueno, no sé, pero yo siento que no tenemos claro que lo comemos aquí. Do you understand what is the meaning of the question? No, teachers. I really know. And uh, your partner is? Who is your partner? Conmigo. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let me, let me show you. Uh, yes. Okay, let me see this. Porque si no comprendemos qué es lo que dice la pregunta, entonces no podemos avanzar. Ese, ese, ese es lo primero que tenemos que entender. Lo que tenemos que entender es que eh, we need to give an answer to this question. For that reason, I give you the time in order that you discuss with somebody else, first of all, the meaning of the question, and then how you are going to answer it. Who wants to tell me in Spanish, what is the meaning of the first question? In Spanish. Yeah, maybe, yeah, in that way, because I need to be sure that you know what you are doing. Right? Okay. En, en, la, en el área de bodega o depósitos eh, se ocupan la función de, de recibir eh, dar seguimiento o tracking es empacado y en, en, o sea, como embalaje y envío ah, no pues yo me quedé pensando en la actividad anterior no 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 por eso yo dije aquí están las preguntas Es que yo no, es que no había, yo creo que las tres no habíamos logrado ver, yo no, no venía viendo el teléfono y pensé que eso era la pregunta. And, and, I, and I ask you and I say, okay, if you got the material, you got the question there, I said. That is the fair question. Esa yeah. es, la, es la primera pregunta. The second one said, yeah. what is the... What is it important to do a throughout need assessment before hiring a CPL service provider? Mm. Esa es la segunda pregunta. Mm -hmm. 
As soon as I give you an instruction, if you don't understand something, raise your hand and tell me, teacher, uh, could you repeat again your instruction? I don't know if you got my meaning. Mm -hmm. Ahora sí se comprende? Yes. Es que andábamos yes. perdiendo otra cosa. Ah, ok. Entonces no estaban trabajando en las preguntas. No, estábamos trabajando en, en donde nos habíamos quedado ayer. Ah, no, pero eso es un homework que lo debieron haber trabajado en otro tiempo. <risa> ok, but don't worry. Ok, make an screenshot if you want, because what I need is that you get immersed in, with the topic. But it is really necessary that you understand the question. In English, uh, 23, 23, okay, imagine that you uh, that you travel to another country and suddenly somebody asks you a question. If you don't understand the question, it is impossible that you are going to give an answer. For that reason, you are going to understand, first of all, the question and based on that, you are going to give an answer and you are going to discuss with somebody else how you can answer the question. Now we have different resources how to understand something. You can have a dictionary in your cell phone, maybe in your computer, different tools that you can use in order to, to get the meaning of the question. Okay, let me see somebody else. What about you, Misael? I was talking with Yesenia. Okay, okay, tell me. Um, I told her that at the company, we have like a small room where okay. we have all of the books that we use every year. And yeah, we do have like, a, like some function of a small basic warehouse because okay. we have books around 50 or 60 books and every year we use them. And we have books for different levels. Okay. And actually we were discussing about it. What are the needs or what do we have to consider to um, keep the product in the right condition for every year? And you send me a take notes about the ideas. Ah, okay. Excellent. I don't know, Yesenia, can you read them? Okay. Uh, for the first question, is it's important to pack the product in good condition. In the case of book, is um, maybe pack in plastic or Mm, para to protect of water or insect in in, in the, the question number one and question number two we think that for avoid error in the delivery need assessment organize the product for levels. In this case, for the, for the grade, uh, first, second, and etc. Okay, uh, you, got, you got some idea related with the question, right? Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to tell us something about? What about you, Juan Carlos? Mayra. Teacher, yo me acabo de conectar en medio, estoy entendiendo lo que estaban haciendo. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Uh, Zaira. 
Teacher, Juan Carlos and me, we answer the part number two. Okay. Mm, when I answer part one, uh, my company teacher, uh, receiving parts, uh, stacking in warehouse, uh, no packing and shipping. Okay. And why it's important to do a true needs assessment before hiring a PPL service provider. Uh, for me, it's, it's important because hiring a triple service provider sometimes is very expensive here and don't uh, and don't like that that part no is useful oh, okay maybe all the panel that kind of for business or company because uh if we are talking about uh, a company that is uh getting bigger every day they need to look for something like that in order to um it is part of the logistic in order to grow in, 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 in different areas. That's correct. In, in our case, when uh, using Oriente, uh, but the, the area is very far to to get to the documentation and so to do expensive that service that okay let us see something. I'm going to share with you some information here. Then you are going to take into account this aspect uh, and maybe you don't have clear right now what we are talking about, maybe some of you. Let me do it. Um, I need to be just uh, Careful about the time because at nine I'm going to check up again the attendance. Okay, right here it says here a third party logistic com company checklist for choosing and qualifies EPL. Right here we are going to see some characteristics. Yesterday we were talking about different aspects, but right here we start talking about location for warehousing. Okay, somebody wants to help me read it. Hello? Location for warehousing, size of building, number of bed doors, and also shift and restated amount of content for trading per day. For support, either for right away, close to major hardware, violent uh, space. Available uh, space for business, keeping shipping period. Available uh, space for explaining. Product needs complementary to your some business some or alternative business champion. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, when we talk about location for warehousing, we are going to take into account different aspects like size of the building, because all, all depend on the size of the building. Uh, it's going to be the, the amount of product that you are going to, to produce or to stock there, you know. Another uh, aspect is that it is really important to, to be close to ports or airports or railways in this case. Available space, available space for busy, heavy shipping periods. Imagine something like that, like the, um, what happened in the last two years, like the pandemic, that they they uh, they had to 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 have all the product there, you know, and also available space for expansion, you know, in order to get bigger. All these aspects you need to consider at the moment that we are going to see for location and warehousing. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Maria Elena, Maria Concepcion. It is clear. Wendy? Oh, Hello? No. Sorry. Okay, what, what, what is that? Could you tell me what part of the, of the information you don't have any idea about? Let us start with the topic, location for warehousing. Do you have clear what is the meaning of the word warehousing? Bodega. Ah, okay. Okay. Wendy? Wendy. Hello, teacher. Okay, do you have clear the, the topic of, of, of this uh, characteristic? Number the de, de, de está hablando de una bodega, dice el compañero. Y entonces es como las características de la bodega. ¿Cómo? Okay, right here is a location for warehousing la ubicación de donde van a estar para almacenar has to do with size of the building number of bay doors enough to ship and receive their amount of container or trailers is that clear for you per day I guess uh, the problem may be uh, that some of you feel it's just uh, because there are new words and I told you, uh, you need to create your own vocabulary. Based on that, you are going to understand what we are talking about. But the problem is that at this level, uh, I can't be translating everything, you know? because this is not an intermediate level. What about uh, close to, to Mayor Highway? What is that? Close to Mayor Highway. Close to poor airport, railways. Available space for expansion. Hello. 
Por ejemplo, que estén el... cerca de aeropuertos, puertos. ¿Ya? Misael. Uh, when it says close to major highways, um, I guess they, su they suggest that because sometimes the product comes in big trucks. So okay. that's why it is necessary to be close on that instead of uh, inside of the city. Have you seen have you seen the building of the free zones in the areas where they are? Teacher, digamos por ejemplo en español, esto es como las zonas francas. Sobre eso es que las zonas francas tienen que estar en un lugar donde puedan entrar camiones, un espacio grande para tener todo lo que van a, a recibir. Como eso es. It is something like that. It is something like that, you know? Oh. The idea is, is in that way. Okay. If you, if you have uh, seen, nowadays, uh, most of the companies, the big ones, I'm talking about the big ones, they are building uh they are uh creating their buildings in the major highways why because they need to move uh their mayor merchandise in an easy way that is the reason and for, that is the reason why we are talking here about the location of warehousing I don't know if you got an idea now. Hello? Okay, let, let me let me check out the attendance again and, and you are going to continue thinking about that. Teacher, no. and for this part, uh, for example, they they will will not be inside um, towns. Um, no, 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 in the street. No, because it it is, it is going to be difficult for them mm. to move all the merchandise, you know. They need to stay in near highways. Yeah, and ports and different means of transportation, you know? I know you got, you got the, uh, some idea related with that. Okay, Adriana del Carmen? Adriana? It's not here. Bueno, como que hoy han aplicado que como es viernes. Por eso veo only a few. The body knows. Sí, por eso quizás, no sé. Bueno, en algunas áreas acaban de reportar por ahí que no hay energía eléctrica. No sé si sea el caso de los compañeros que no se conectaron hoy. Ana Beatriz. She was uh, a little six, maybe. Continuing the same situation. Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Escobar. Escobar is not here today. Selena. Present. Guys, that's a listener. Okay. Eh, Diana. It's not here. Eric. Not here. Francis. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Okay. Laura. 
Laura is not here today. Something happened. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Is there too? Uh, Maria Elena. I'm here. Maria Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima ya no apareció. Eh, Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, let us continue. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, we already talked about location. Let us continue. Let us talk about equipment. Okay, let us talk about pallet rocks. Do you know what is that? Conveyor, flow rocks for pick and pack. Scanning a station, packing table, typo, four leaf, preventive and maintenance program. Do you know what is a, a four leaf? Hello? Hello. No, I don't know what is mean by the rocks, convey floor rock, uh, uh, four leaves. What about this one? Four, four, four leaf. No, I don't know what it means. Like a car, something like that. Yeah, that they use it in order to 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 move different uh, product to another product. That is the four leaf. Son los montacarga. Esos son los four leaf. Por eso, uh, por eso les digo, les voy a decir esto en español. Eh, hay un montón de palabras que posiblemente sean nuevas. Y lastimosamente no puedo tener como la imagen de cada cuestión que les voy. Por ejemplo, el pallet rod. Eso eh, son eh, unas cuestiones de madera donde el four leaf tiene espacio para poder meter su, su, sus tenazas y poder llevar eso. Son lo, a lo que le llamamos tarimas acá. ¿De you got? Ok, teacher. Ok. Uh, carton ceiling machines. What is this? They use it to seal the cardboard, you know, label seal. cleaner. Ah, okay, okay. And what about, I, I don't know right here in the top of the, if, if we have UPS or, or FedEx shipping the station. Do we have it here in El Salvador? I guess UPS, we have it. What can you tell me? 
Do we have it in El Salvador or not? This is like a courier. Yes. Yes, teacher. We oh. have it. Okay, we have it too. Okay. What about um yeah, the packing tables, a scanning station. Yes, teacher. We yeah. and, and do you remember uh, when we talk about this work and measure? Do you remember that? Yes, teacher. The most common that we see uh, the, uh, are in, in, the, in the airport, for example. Well, I, I think that, that this situation here has to do with the vocabulary because I'm in the same point that we need to look it up in the dictionary, the meaning of some words. And that way we are going to get more information. Okay, uh, and also when we talk about equipment, we can talk about value added department, specialized equipment for your product. Accessorial activity like uh, taping, bending, labeling, assembling work, et cetera, et cetera. I guess that uh, you got some ideas about this. Everything that has to do with equipment. Okay, let us see what else do we have here. I don't know if you can see it very well. Okay, hold on a second. Let me move a little bit. Let me move a little bit. I guess you can see it now. Okay, staff, staffing, testing of employees for reading, writing, comprehension, basic language, and dyslexia has to do with that, you know? Certification, pre-certification for Sigma, Kaizen in Canvas, I don't know if you got an idea about the meaning of this, uh, these three words. Can we talk about, hello? Yes. Ah, okay. These are uh, some kind of uh, certification that some companies uh, need to have. I don't know right here in El Salvador but uh, you can get more info related with this kind of certification. But the most common here in El Salvador is, is uh, I don't know, tell me uh, maybe the ISO, I guess that is the most common here in El Salvador. La más común acá como que es la ISO y no sé qué números lleva. Las certificaciones. Bien, y solo. Ah, ok. Yeah, there are a lot of different uh, certifications that a company need to have. And also, talking about staffing, uh, 
it is really important the, the, the union or not union staff, then agency staff or company workers to elaborate education language and skill level of uh, administrative support staff. If you want to be in a certain position, you need to have a different qualification, you know? education and professional level of middle and senior management, you need to have some knowledge related with the, with the profession that you are going to do in your company, training brochure for new employees, how to do with this, probation period for new employees. They have to do with the, with the, with the people that they, they uh, I don't know how many days uh, most of the companies here in South of the year, I, I guess 15 days is the right one, right? Será lo más común en el país que le den 15 días de prueba o es más? O parece que son, okay, let me see. According to the rules, are like uh, three months, I guess. Am I right? Estoy en lo correcto o no? Hello. I'm talking about the probation period for new employees. For the people, teacher. Yeah, I'm talking about employees. Employees, uh, yes, three months. Yeah, and after three months, uh, they sign a contract in order to stay. One month, teacher. Really? Only one month? Really? In my company? You know? Okay. Depend depend the, of the depend of the company teacher. Ah, okay. But in, in but in a place only fifteen days ah. in through. In some places. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Some company is more, sometimes three months. Yeah. Example, Pollo Campero. Ah, okay. That is called the probation period, three months. And after three months, if they see that you do everything uh, as they want, they sign a contract in order that you stay. Okay. Yeah. Depend maybe the company and someone don't pay and others, yes. Ah, uh, during, during the probation period, they don't pay anything. They don't pay anything. Yes, teacher. And is, no sé cómo se dice retroactiva, pero si el, el empleado se queda, le pagan el tiempo que trabajó, pero si lo. lo no queda, lo despiden y no le pagan. My goodness, it's fire. And he or she didn't get anything. Didn't get anything, you know? Okay, uh, let us see background check of new employees. They need to have uh, information in order to, to call somebody, uh, suddenly somebody uh, is fired. They they got CPS, disciplinary pro uh, procedure for employees found making error or stealing. That has to do with that too. Do you understand the last one? For making error or stealing product or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that is related with the staff. Okay, let us see what else. Okay, IT system issues. Okay, in previous classes, we talked what is the meaning of, the, of these two words, IT, right? Information technology, 
reporting a uh, capabilities name of IT manager to collaborate with your IT manager too. Warehouse management system, WMS, you need to learn uh, all this abbreviation, integrating customization capabilities. Transportation management system, TMS. Optimization capability for your freight. Uh, jar management system, it's YMS. Tracking freight system. Death management consideration. File transfer capabilities. Modification possibilities. As you see, a lot of issues that uh, we need to take into account at the moment that we are going to decide for a CPL system, you know? Okay, any questions so far from here? Any question? Hello? Teacher, Hola. what is IT? IT, information technology. Thanks, teacher. And, and do you know what is information technology? Hello? Yes, I know, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, try to keep in mind my screenshot because all these are new terms for you. Okay, continue right here and we have some questions like what are the shortcomings of their system? What are the shortcomings of your system? Have to do with you as a company and the shortcoming of their system, talking about the CPL. What about EDI? What, what is the meaning of that? It is uh, electronic data interchange. To computer to computer in order to exchange a business document, you know, in a standard electronic format between business pattern. That is what we call a uh, EDI. And what about our FID? What does mean? No idea? This is la uh, radio frequency identification. It is talking about wireless uh, system of communication. For the reason, say, or voice activation capabilities. I don't know if you got what I'm saying. Maybe it's, it's, it's pretty new for you, this information. Hello? Teacher. Hello. Can you repeat the meaning RFID, ID, please? Okay. R for radio. F mean frequency. And the last two letter identification. Radio. Okay, teacher. 
radio frequency identification. Okay. And the first, what's the meaning? The EVA. First, the first one, the meaning? Electronic yes. data interchange. Electronic data interchange or interchange. Okay, then, then you can get more information related with this kind of uh, system of communication. Okay, the next one say order management, strong inventory control capabilities, strong location management capabilities, system available 24-7. The cost to use EPL system too. You need to know how much are you going to pay if you contract a CPL system. I don't know, somebody wants to say something about this. Any comment related with this? No? Make a screenshot, hagan una captura, por favor. Because I, I need to move forward, you know. Okay, let us talk about flexibility. Somebody wants to read it, please tell me. Me teacher. Okay. Flexibility. Do they provide the necessary range of service? Oh, yeah, do okay. they have do they have partners or trust suppliers for service? They don't supply, but you need shift it shift times overtime when necessary and cost of overtime. We can work. Ability to add staff, labor pool, ability to handle rush or emergency orders. What is the lead time necessary? Okay. Important question related with flexibility. That we need to answer this question, you know? At the moment that you are going to decide to contract a uh, SEPL, you are going to ask those questions. Do they provide a necessary range of services that I need? Do they have partner or trusted supplier for services that they don't supply but you will need? And also the ability to handle rush or emergency order. What is the lead time necessary? You need to understand it because in that way you are going to relate it with the rest or the, or the, or the element. Okay, let, let us talk about communication. Who provides what information to whom both ways? We need to have clear who is going to provide the information to whom in both ways. What is the time frame for the information provided? What is the method of transferring information? Should always be in a written email format? In what format is the information being passed along? What information does the CPL require from you? This is another question. Uh, what information will they provide you? 
review and define jargon and term to be used. Complete resolution, the chain of command to solve problem. This is really, really important, the complete resolution. I invite you to identify all the difficult words that you don't understand and later on you are going to get familiar with them. Or maybe in the context you can understand it. But all the pain. Okay, any question? Hello. This is part of the checklist or the CP. No, question. Hello, sir. No question, Tisha. Okay. As I told you, if you understand what we are talking about, you are going to be able to give me an answer. Okay, let us talk about qualification. How long in business, the company that you are going to contract as a CPL warehouse, asset or non-asset based CPL. The staff qualification, accreditation, customer comment about the CPL. What they said, you are going to make a research, as I told you yesterday, the core business, commodity, specialty. Can they provide customer and other reference, references? Do they have experience shipping the same product as your company ships? Do they have experience shipping to the same customers? Consignis as your company. What size, what size customers do they handle? That is another question. What kind of customer do they handle? You need to be sure about that. And based on that, if you get the answer to all those questions, you are going to have a bright idea in order to contract the company that you are trying to. And also here, we are going to talk about expectation, you know, customer survey, use the BOC voice or the customer technique to satisfy your customer. On Tom deliver to your customer, you know, what people are going to say about this. Transportation, asset, non-asset, how to handle the fuel surcharge. That is the meaning of uh, FSZ increases, you know. Timetable and deadline for receiving and providing information. Timetable for receiving new merchandise. You need to have it when you are going to receive it. Timetable for shipping order. When are you going to send it? To whom? To where? Expect the quantities of inbound and outbound merchandise. I remember we talked about these two terms. I explained it and also I show you a picture related with this. Expect the number of order and unit picked or shipped daily, weekly, monthly. Well, we are talking about expectation. What is the division of duty? Review all aspects of information management and flow to determine who is responsible for what. For example, routine, batch order, invoicing, returning, POD tracking, and different uh, aspect, you know. And also talk about what are the shipping priorities. Okay, 
cost of the time. Um, well, later on, I'm going to share with you this info. The compliance who is the responsible for routine packaging and shipping guideline. You need to have very clear who is responsible for share tax under what circumstances. What is the CPO legal limit of uh, liability? What does their insurance and your insurance cover? And under what circumstances? You need to know that. Who handle RMA? What is the meaning of that? Return material authorization. That is the meaning. And also uh, talking about reverse logistic program. What happened in this? Create quantifiable standard and measurements of performance. But right here, in order to understand all these characteristics, the first thing that you need to do is to understand what is the meaning of this word. And based on that, you are going to get the right answer, you know? And also we have the pricing, like a structure that is easy to understand and easy to check. Invoice format to your specification with proper backup documentation. Compre comprehensive price would include all possible service you might require. The payment term, you need to have clear that too. Well, I guess uh, these are general ideas. And the last part, finding a true partner. Do you feel they are honest, trustworthy, and sincere? Do you feel they have a passion for the business and a commitment to customer service? Do they have the experience, education, and professionalism you require? I mean that you have cleared these three questions. At the moment that you are going to make a contract with somebody, you need to feel they, if they are honest or not, if they are trustworthy and sincere, you know? Okay, any comment about this one? No? Hello? No, did you? I know I know that it is uh, a lot of information related with this topic. I know that. I'm going to share this uh, presentation in order that you have it. Se les voy a compartir la presentación y despacio cuando ya tengan tiempo van eh, de diapositiva en diapositiva para que vayan comprendiendo qué es lo que dice cada término. Yo comprendo eso. I understand, you know, but you need to look for the way to understand what we are talking about. Okay. Okay, teacher. I invite you to do that, you know. Okay, let us switch a little bit. We are going to talk about uh, the activity number two on page uh, 23. Let me show you the exercise that you need to resolve. I got it here. Building vocabulary, match the logistic service to their corresponding meaning. And we have lead certification, freight, forwarding service, disaster recovery plan, cross docking capability. And you need to understand and you need to have an idea related with this. And that way you are going to, to classify it. But let me show you something else before. Let me try to do it. I know because of the time. 
Liasa some slices related with this because I mean that you have an idea. Hold on a little bit. When we talk about the fur one, when we talk about lead certification, we are talking about, this is the meaning of this uh, acronym, you know, or, or abbreviation, leadership in energy and environmental design. It's a method of evaluating green building. In a general way, I'm giving you this information, you know. I don't know if you are going to make a screenshot related with this, because remember in the material, we have only just the abbreviation. Is done? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay. Hold on, I'm having a kind of problem. Ah, it is a voluntary system designed in the United States. Let me see what else. The final evaluation is given by the US Green Building Council, US, USGBC. That is the abbreviation. The first lead program was released by the US. GBC in August 1998 and so on. But because of the time, I'm, I, I can give you a lot of information related with this. Okay, but let, let, this is important. There are currently lead cert certified buildings in 30 countries. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa esto entonces? Aló. Okay. Yeah, doctor, hay 30, perdón, hay 30 certificados de LID en, en 30 países. 30 okay. hay que actualmente hay eh, 30 países eh, certificados de edificios libres. En 30 países hay edificios con esa certificación. Lástima, no tenemos el tiempo necesario en order to explain how does lead words. Okay, I'm going to give you just some idea. Lead is a point system in which building get point for satisfying criteria of sustainable constructions. It refer to construction, has to do with construction. Let me see if I got uh, the maximum point that they can get is 26. You can show previously teacher, please, a moment. This one? Yes, this one. Yes, yeah. Okay. Thank you. It has to do with water efficiency in the building. Maximum point 10, they, they qualify in that way. Energy and atmosphere, they got a 35 point. And material and resources, they take into account that indoor environment. Quality too. And well, I guess it's a general idea related with this. Okay, what is the next that we have? Let me see. Free for wiring service. Let me see if I got some idea related with this one.
I'm having problem with my connection too. Okay, when we talk about this, the, the second one, this is the definition. That is the one that I, I want to share with you. But, okay, let, we are talking about freight forwarder. What is that? Let us have an idea. Okay, it is a firm specializing in arranging storage and shipping of merchandise and behold of is cheaper. The person or company that organize shipment for individual or corporation to get goods from the manufacturer or producer to a market customer or final point of distribution. That is the definition. La fotico, la fotico, please. And I'm sorry, I had to move. You got it? Got it. Yes. Wendy? No, teacher, estaré bien pequeño y estoy grande. ¿Qué le pasó entonces? What happened, Wendy, with your camera? No, lo sé. And now? No, ya no puedo, no puedo ver esta cosa. Sale bien pequeñito lo que se está proyectando. Y se está en grande. Si le tomo fotos, se va a ver. <laughs> mm, my goodness. What about the rest? How, how do you see it? ¿Cómo, cómo lo ven? Good teacher. Big, right? No, algo le tocó, Wendy, algo le tocó. A ver, ¿qué me lo pasan entonces? Maybe need touch imagine. Se lo voy a enviar, Wendy. Okay, I'm sorry. Because of the time, I need that you work in this exercise that I show you. Necesito que trabajemos en el ejercicio que les mostré con las ideas que les di. Solo faltó Disaster Recovery Plan and Cross Docking Capability. Okay, so please try to work in this. A company that organized shipment to corporation to get good from the manufacturer to a market customer or final point of distribution. I remember I read this concept for you. It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. I read and I show something for, for this too. I talk about those concepts. And the next one said product from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. And the last one set us a uh, procedure to recover and protect a business IT infrastructure in the event or a disaster. Okay. So please try to resolve. And you are going to do exercise yeah. number three. Number page, teacher. 23, I guess. Yeah. 23 is the page. Okay. Thank you. Welcome.
Okay, please try to resolve the exercise now to I'm going to stop chatting. Okay, let us see what you have. Okay, what about this one, the third one? Letter B. Letter B or D? B. B, teacher. This one, B. Mm. You say let it be. What about the next one? Letter A, letter A. Say letter A. What about this one? 
Letter C. Letter C. Letter D. And the last one. Letter D. Somebody told me letter D in the previous one. What about the last one? C teacher. That is C, right? Right here is letter, it's no letter, let us see, it's letter D. Okay, but in that way. It provides point system to score green building design and construction. I explained that. And also let it be a company that organizes shipment for a corporation to get goods from the manufacturer to the market. Pay for wearing service. Let it be product uh, that is cross ducting capability product from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail with marginal, not to handling or store, storage time. And the last one, let us see disaster recovery plan, set a procedure to recover and protect a business. Okay. Okay, take a look at the, the following uh, checklist that we have here. I know we have a short time. And number three, discuss the following checklist with the areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistic candidate, which are the most important. Okay, you are going to read it. Um, maybe tomorrow. And you are going to decide if yes or not, according to the information that I share with all of you. Please check the column yes or no for each of the statements about CPL candidate. For example, they are financial stable with a long history of successful operation. They have great references. They had a disaster recovery plan. They offer cross docking capability. They offer freight forwarding services. They have experience in the countries in which you do business. They have lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification. You need to take into account all the aspects that we mentioned. And based on that, you are going to resolve it. Okay, let me stop here. Well, We are so close to finish. I invite you to read. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. A lot of new term, right? Yes? Many terms new. Yes, you need, you need to understand it in order to understand the topic. I'm sorry, but that, that is the, the, the only way that you can understand it. Okay, let me check out the attendance again. Adriana del Carmen. No here. Ana Beatriz. 
Mahir, Ana Lilian. Present. Yeah, is there. Um, Escobar, Selena Guadalupe. Present. Okay, thank you. Diana Stephanie. It's not here too. Okay, uh, Eric. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Okay, thank you, sir. Laura Carolina. Maria Concepción Cerón. Present, teacher. Maria Elena. Present, teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present, teacher. Zaira Marlene. Present, teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Otra vez olvidó my name. Wendy, Wendy, Maribel. Pero ni por qué lo friego tanto que no entiendo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wendy, Wendy, I'm sorry, Wendy. Well, uh, before we go, antes de irnos en español y a colores, les explico lo siguiente. Es necesario hacerse de nuevo vocabulario para poder comprender sobre lo que estamos hablando. Cuando no comprendan algún subtítulo de algo, les he dicho que por favor consigan, tengan ahí por ahí un, un algo algún dispositivo en el teléfono o algún diccionario. Eh, para, para mí en este nivel es tanto difícil y de ir eh, haciendo la traducción de todo, ¿no? Entonces espero que me comprendan y el objetivo es ayudarles hasta donde esté a mi alcance de poder hacerlo. Pero también eh, hay que poner de nuestra parte para poder comprender los contenidos. Yo sé, es algo nuevo y términos que no hemos visto nunca, quizá. Depende del área que cada uno de, haya estudiado, de, así es la relación que ya tiene con esos términos. Así es que eh, yo les sigo invitando a que vayan creando su vocabulario. La otra cosa, cuando hacemos el review, ustedes... Debe de tener apuntes, nada cuesta poder darle una mirada a sus apuntes y recordar qué es lo que estuvimos hablando en la clase anterior. Pero eh, en mi caso a veces me quedo así como preocupado cuando pregunto y de qué hablamos. Entonces, ¿será que qué, qué pasó? Entonces, eh, eso, eso me, me, me deja una duda. Entonces yo les invito que eh, no nos confiemos en, solo en la mente, también debemos de tener un cuaderno para poder anotar lo que no se nos quedó grabado, pues queda ahí en el papel y al leerlo nos vamos a recordar otra vez. Ok. Yes. Ok. Ok. Okay, thank you. Uh, according to my list, the number 14, it is Mario Ernesto Villeda. I don't know if you got time in order to, to talk with me, my friend. Mario? Oh, yes, I put Mario. He's there. Mario. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, sir. I don't know if you have time in order to stay at the end of the class. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye bye. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, no, not tomorrow. Bye, okay. See you Monday. Okay, see you. Take care and try to read the material. Wendy, Wendy, try to read the material. Wendy. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, bye bye. Hasta cuando es ahora es mi turn, verdad? Hasta ahí o no
llamando. Oye, ahora termina el micro. Yes. Okay. Bye, Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Hace, hace, hacemos el review del midterm el lunes. Ahora lo hubiéramos hecho. Now, according to my lesson plan, is is gonna be enough today. Y como nos hemos retrasado por el día de la madre, estaba programado para hacerse hoy. Pero como nos quedamos así en 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 tan by por ese día que no entonces estaría el lunes. Bye. Así es. Bye bye. Bye, Maria Elena. Bye, Maria Elena. Hello, my friend Mario. How do you feel today? I feel good. Relaxing. Okay, okay relaxing. Uh, uh, what, what, what do you think about the, the, the new term that we are starting at this moment? We need a lot of new words, definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not only for you. And maybe and, that... And, that is the reason why some of your classmates, they don't want to participate. But when we have a new vocabulary, what, what, what we need to do is just to, to look for a better way in order to learn it and understand it. And that way you are yeah. going to, to be able to use it. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know because yeah, I guess the, the, the focus of the, of the class they don't understand I mean, a lot of time they don't understand the, the questions so i don't know yeah but but uh, if you see it has to do with the level you know because this is an intermediate level yeah but but, but in certain uh, some words but, well in this level many many words in this topic, like warehouse of logistics, are new for me too. Yes, it's correct. Because yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not my. No, you're, no, I'm, you're not, I'm not work. I'm, I'm not work with the, the the kind of information. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I listen and I try to understand and apply the the terms, but okay. for okay. example. Like you say, uh, let me see. Uh, the 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 fourth fleet. I don't know. First in my in my life, I see a four clicks or something ah, okay. like that. The uh, four four leaf. Four leaf. No. Yeah, the four leaf. It, it's very it's very specific. Uh, it's very specific language. Yeah. But but. It, yeah, I'm here to try a new, a new things. Yeah, that, that is, the, that is the, the point that you are learning something new and you need to relate it with, with, uh, with the topic. All the terms that we are learning, you need to relate it with the topic because uh, when we talk about CPL, it's not, uh, maybe not easy to understand it because include different elements that we are going to consider the moment that we are going to choose one that is going to help us to achieve our goals, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the reason what, I, what I've been doing is just inviting you to, 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 to read it before the class and that way you are going to look it up words that you don't understand uh, in a dictionary. And when, when we start the class, you already got an idea about. In some case, when, when I connect with the, with the laptop, uh, open a new tab, um, see the Google Translator. Only one word maybe is the key to understand uh, all the sentence. Okay. Okay, but, but the problem that I see is that some of your classmates, they don't want to use uh, a dictionary. And that is a problem. I don't know if you just did you some, maybe you can, maybe if we ask uh, if they connect up from a computer or, or, or on a smartphone, but I guess it, it, almost everybody connect from, from a computer. Yes. 
but I don't know if he's connected by from a smartphone. But it's not it's not so difficult to change on a new tab in, in the Explorer, maybe. Yeah, but, but but you need to look for the way how it's it's easier for you in order to, to understand the word. And you need to read it over and over in order to get the meaning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, we are uh, ending the week number three. We have only just two, two left. But uh, as a matter of fact, uh, maybe because of the weather, I saw only just like uh, 12 or 13 people today. I don't know what happened with the rest of them. Maybe, maybe some, some like two days ago, maybe when, when, when the lights off in the, black, the blackout. The blackout, right. So maybe I, I listen with my, my co workers that I have in, in, well, in central, paracentral, and west areas have a uh, uh, heavy rains. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was maybe. raining in different areas. And maybe that, that is the reason why they didn't connect today. Yeah, the problem is that remember at the end, uh, you need to have the 80% of your assistant, you know? Yeah, yeah. In, in order to, to, to pass the module. And but yeah. the problem is that right now I have people that they already miss three or four classes. Well, yeah. But like, uh, the maximum, maximum in assist now, maximum in assistencia falta. Yeah. Absent. Uh, how do you say? Absence. Absent. Yeah. Absent. Absent. Uh, in, 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 in for per, per model is five or four. As a matter of fact, in this case, uh, if we have 25 days, we need to make the, the, the it look like it's gonna be like five, I guess, but I'm not pretty sure about that. But, but if my, my, my partners have four, Oh. And in, in the in the model have a it's a half. Yeah. Yeah, I have to finish three weeks without any ends. Yeah, five. Yeah, it's too too risk. Yeah, maybe because so. uh well, when, when it's because of the weather, it is difficult to solve it. If you, if you want to do it, if you want to connect, but if you don't have power, it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but, well, let us see what happens the next week. And okay. I hope that, uh, that all of you try to read the material before come to the class, and that way you are going to understand better. And I've been trying to give you extra information related with the, the one that we have in the material in order to clarify some ideas. Because as you can see, uh, for example, uh, in the previous exercise, uh, right there we find uh, we found the, the, the word lead. And you need to understand what is the meaning. For that reason, yeah. I, show, I show you some slides that related with that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's well, like uh, it's like uh, oh, it's like a tool to see uh, what kind of buildings I see. I uh, only three, only in three, in three countries have lead buildings. Okay. To to uh, not to take care of the environment. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah, yeah. Take care of the environment. Yeah. Something like that I see it. For that reason, I told you right here. What 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 I know about certification, 
the most common is the ISO 9000, I don't know. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah that, that is the most common, but we don't have something like lead that has to do with the environment, if they save uh, water and power, power, power if, if they plant uh, different trees and, and, and bush, you know, right here it's difficult to find something like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, sir, thank you very much to stay at the end of the class and I invite you to continue reading and try to participate and, and if you don't understand something by today you can ask and that way you are going to get picture about what we are talking about because suddenly when we see a new word and uh, sometimes it's uh, a little difficult to get the information, the right information. But okay. at the moment when somebody give you another words, you can understand it. And you got the idea in a hard way, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you very much, sir. And yeah. I hope to see you next Monday. Yeah, see you. Okay, bye. Good night. Yeah, good night.